Let's look at a few examples. So what is £85.66 in pence? Just take out that decimal point, 8566 pence. Much easier than thinking of it as what's 85.66 times 100. Still the same answer, but the quick way is just get rid of that decimal point, 8566p. Camilla buys six cans of lemonade at 80 pence each and three Mars bars at 58p each. How much does she spend in total in pounds and pence? So what we're going to work out, first of all, is the price of the lemonade. So that is six cans at 80p each, so six times 80p. Um, and well, maybe you can use a calculator, but I always like to get people to do things in their heads. Six eights are 48. So 680 is 480. So that's 480 pence or divide that by 100, create two decimal places. That's four pounds 80. Three Mars bars at 50p each, 58p each rather. Three times 58, that's acceptable to do this on a calculator. I would say that's a 174 pence. If you didn't have access to a calculator, then you just have to use some long multiplication and that is therefore going to be £1.74. So therefore the total is going to be these two numbers added together, put a decimal point in line, 0 plus 4 is 4, 8 plus 7, 15, carry the 1, 4, 5, 6. So the total in pounds and pence is £6 and 54 pence. It's quite possible um, that in they might write in the answers a certain number of pounds and a certain number of pence like this and you just would need to write 6.54. Abdul goes to the supermarket and buys the following items. How much change does he receive if he pays using a £10 note? So the first thing to do is to add up the cost of everything he's bought. Now the only difficulty is that some of the amounts are in pounds and pence whereas some of them are just in pence. So what I would do is convert either either the ones that are in pounds and pence to pence or the ones that are in pence to pounds and pence. Um, I think it's probably going to be easier here um, putting ATP into pounds and pence which is 0 0.80 pounds, 0 0.75 pounds and 0 0.55 and now we can just add up £1.20 plus £2.59 I'm using a calculator for this by the way 0 0.80 or 0 0.8 plus 0 0.75 plus 0 0.55. So that comes to a grand total of £5.89. So how much change does he receive? Well, it's going to be £10 minus 5.89. And again, I would just type that into a calculator. 10 minus 5.89 means that he receives £4.11 change. This final example says we need to estimate how much the customer pays in total. So what we're gonna do is just a bit of rounding here. So he's buying five packs of football stickers. So we're estimating, so this means we need to round it because we're not gonna be able to use a calculator. So let's call uh, the five packs of football stickers, let's call that five pounds. A sandwich, we'll just generously round that up to, should we just call that one pound as well? Uh, one milkshake, one pound ten. Let's round that down to a pound, and let's call the box of chocolates four pounds. So five plus four is nine, ten, eleven. So that's a pretty decent estimation.